Alham there talking memory and nutrition and fitness expert Bernadette Abraham joins us now with her picks of the foods you should eat if you want to keep your memory strong. Bernadette, welcome yes. back. It's great to have you back on Thank you. the second week of season three. Well, now Tom is chilling in the living room for now, so we're going to just let him be there. Um, he's having a bit of a trouble with his memory. And so... Here we are talking about memory, of course. Now, I've read that a strong, for, strong memory, mm -hmm. the health and vitality of the brain is extremely important. Mm -hmm. And typically, when we talk about enhancing memory, we are, we are recommended things like puzzles and crosswords and things. But foods to enhance memory? Absolutely. I mean, if we look at the more serious cases of memory loss, like dementia and Alzheimer's, those with Alzheimer's have been shown to be deficient in certain nutrients, mm. such as omega-3 fatty acids. Um, some of the B complexes like B6, B12, uh, folate, as well as vitamins K, D, and E. Mm -hmm. So now translating that into food, mm -hmm. we have here the top brain foods. So okay. we can start with the omega-3 fatty acids, which are found in fish. Okay. So um, our brain is actually made up of 60% fat, mm -hmm. half of which is um, DH, um, DHA. So um, basically eating, you know, uh, fish oil, cod liver oil, and if you're not a fish person, then you can always supplement with um, krill oil. That's actually what I use, and it's mm -hmm. very high in, in, in uh, astaxanthin, which is mm -hmm. a very, very mm -hmm. powerful antioxidant. Mm -hmm. Now, the B12, mm -hmm. for instance... But it's a good thing you mentioned fish, Bernadette, because that's exactly what Chef Romain, or rather Perfect. Chef Tom, is going to be preparing tonight, so looking forward to that one. So moving on from fish, what's next? So again, we mentioned the, the B complex mm -hmm. uh, vitamins. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're a vegetarian, you're going to probably want to supplement because most of the B12s are found in animal sources. So we have liver here, eggs, you know, beef, those kinds of foods are very rich in B12. So mm -hmm. it's wise to supplement if you are a vegetarian. Mm -hmm. Sunflower seeds, great, because mm -hmm. they're very, um, again, part of the B complex. They're good in folate. They're good in uh, B6. Mm -hmm. And they're great snacks as well, so you mm -hmm. can carry them uh, wherever you go. Mm -hmm. Now, coconut oil, this is very interesting, because those with Alzheimer's, their parts of their brain can't use up glucose, which is the form of energy for the brain. So another way, another source of energy um, for the body are ketones and those who go like on the on the Atkins diet for instance mm. start to produce ketones and you can increase that production by having coconut oil so that's okay. also beneficial and then what is ketones exactly um, that's when your pH changes it's a, it's a usable form of energy as opposed to glucose which is our main energy source mm -hmm. the body kind of shifts into burning ketones instead and it can become brain fuel as well um, blueberries, everyone knows blueberries, extremely high in antioxidants, and um, yeah, they look good. Huh? <laughs> Tom made half of them before the show, but yeah, anyway, whatever we're left um, with. They're also <laughs> high in vitamin K, which was one of the nutrients that most Alzheimer patients are deficient in. Mm. And along the same lines, you know, foods that are high in antioxidants are vegetables, mm. you know, and all colors, because every color is a different property. So beta carotene, for instance, is what gives our vegetables the orange color. So you have squash, you have sweet potatoes. Um, kale and broccoli are great for vitamin C. Uh, tomatoes, lycopene, anything that's red, watermelon, and so on. So you want to have your diet varied in colors. I always say, think of the rainbow of colors. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so the colors of food actually have an effect on Absolutely. your Absolutely. They'll have brain. different properties. Okay. And because they're high in antioxidants, it helps prevent cell damage. Right. And Bernadette, what about the importance of eating like three meals a day? Because I'm sure that many people are guilty, including yours truly, of skipping breakfast. Is that, does that affect your memory in the long term? Um, there haven't been any studies to show that there's a direct link with meal frequency and memory loss. Um, but more importantly is the quality of the foods that you are eating. You know, dementia and Alzheimer's is a disease that's growing. So it's not just as necessarily genetics that play a role. It's really um, what we're eating, environmental toxins. It's been linked, actually, um, to health conditions. So obesity, those who have excess belly fat, those who have high uric acid levels or thyroid dysfunctions, um, heart disease, those who have insulin um, um, insulin resistance or diabetes, they have up to 65% mm. more risk of developing Alzheimer's. Mm. So really addressing the concerns of these health conditions can mm. help. Mm. Well, a strong memory depends on the health and vitality, so make sure you eat healthy for that. And for more information on everything that we've discussed, plus to go to Bernadette's website, do log on to our Facebook fan page, facebook.com forward slash Studio One Live.